Hi everyone, it's Lee with Arts Council OKC Creative Aging Program, and today we are going to do white charcoal pencil gorillas. The great thing about this is when using your white charcoal pencil, gorillas are part furry and smooth, like on their skin. So this will be a great exercise in blending smooth surfaces and working on fur. So the materials you're gonna need are a white charcoal pencil, black charcoal pencil, black construction paper, a big eraser, and some Q-tips for blending. Okay, let's get started. Okay. So what I like to do is I started with a photo reference just so I could kind of, you know, just so I could get the basic sketch in. Now we're not worrying about getting an exact likeness. We're just getting in all of the information, you know, in basic proportion. This is an exercise in working with fur and, you know, and smooth skin, you know, smooth surfaces in white charcoal. And using the black charcoal pencil as well, that just gives extra depth. And it's, you know, so when you, for after you get your sketch done from the photograph, then really kind of don't necessarily look at it. You can look at it for how the fur moves, but it's kind of tricky since we're doing this in the reverse, you know what is dark, you wanna leave more paper showing and stuff. So it's kind of tricky working from a color image. Now you can also find images online of black and white which that also kind of gives you a better idea of the contrast between, you know, even though it's kind of grays and blacks in the fur, um, you know, and the skin is actually kind of a grayish black, you, we're actually at, gonna be adding white onto the black paper and then also some black pencil. So if you just do this slowly, you'll be fine. And even though this one is a color image from a calendar, it still mostly reads, you know, black and white, like the reverse, kind of like what we're doing now. So what I like to do is, uh, and today we're gonna use, you know, Q-tips for blending tools. You know, the, this will be great for working on, you know, the skin around the eyes and the nose and parts of the mouth. Um, and like I said just a minute ago, I like using black charcoal pencils in these drawings too, even though it's on black paper, but it adds a real richness to it. And um, what I like to do is today kind of in starting is where you know it's gonna be smooth, we can kind of just start adding in just a layer of white. And then also you can kind of leave spaces around your white pencil where you know there's gonna be a black line, you know, so you know there's gonna be some shadows. And this one is a different image, but that's fine. It still gives me, you know, a lot of the same kind of way the fur grows off of the face and how the skin moves, you know, above the, on the brow ridge and just kind of the, texture of the nostrils. You know, so this is an older gorilla, so there's a little more wrinkles involved, and this guy's a little bit younger, not that you can tell at this point, but, you know, that's all right. So, just kind of get all, get, you know, everything in here, and like I said, you're not worrying about getting an exact likeness. Some per proportion is great, so in your image, you know, you can look and say, okay, how far away is this eye from the side of the face, and kind of judge and you know this one's gonna be farther away maybe that's three fingers so help yourself by kind of doing those things and then just looking and saying okay the edge of the this brow skin area is kind of just outside the edge of the nostril you know or you know the uh, edge of the eye lines up and you know what it's okay if your eyes are a little closer or a little farther away you know you can adjust them if it looks really odd but if they're just a little bit off, don't worry about it. This is just, you know, we're this is a we're practicing using 
you know, different surfaces, like with a smooth skin and in conjunction with some fur. So, and then my table is really kind of wonky. So I have a heavier piece of cardboard underneath just to kind of give me some cushion. And if you're using a really hard surface, I would recommend that too. And then I have a few pieces of construction paper underneath. So, okay, so like what I was saying um, a minute ago is where I know it's going to be kind of the smooth skin, I'm gonna go in here and kind of add just a little layer of white. And you can see that I'm just using circular motions and I'm just very lightly doing, you know, pressing on the paper. I'm not doing this very hard at all. And then, like I said, I'm leaving some black paper showing where I know my, kind of my lines are. So I'm just gonna, and you're gonna go in and just keep building it up too. And then you're gonna add some black charcoal pencil, but you can also see kind of now that this is looking like a smoother surface, okay? And that's what we're working on, the different, you know, difference between a smooth surface and furry surface. And so we'll still add some in here. And then you'll, you'll, you'll add more layers of pencil and more white, but so we're just kind of adding, you know, heavier bits of white, meaning pressing it down so it's brighter white. And even though the top of the lip area has some fur on it, I still want to add a little layer of the white. And this one, you know, has some more wrinkles, but this guy's younger, so he has a little bit smoother skin. So just, um, I'm just going to kind of, but see by just adding this layer of pencil, you can see how it's changing the the surface of the gorilla. You can see this is much, you know, kind of a smoother surface. And I just want to put this in here for myself so I kind of have a visual reference. Now, this guy's mouth is a little different. This this is where some of the the bottom lip is going to be. This is also part part of the lip underneath that has some fur, but I this is more of the highlighted area, so I'm just gonna kinda get this in here. And like I said, it's sometimes a little tricky when you're looking at a color photograph, and so, you know, you know, this is actually a black line, even though you're putting a white line to sketch it, this is like sh in shadow. And, um, whoops, hello you know, because that's the interior line of the mouth. So, and so you can see I accidentally press a little harder there than I wanted, which is fine. And then if you need to go in with some black and just kind of give yourself a little help here. Okay. You're gonna be so that kind of helps a little bit. He looks a little grumpy and that's totally fine. I might be feeling a little grumpy too. So anyway, this kind of gives you an idea of how to start. And then for the shape of the, this is a silverback gorilla. So, you know, he has a long, kind of has a pointy little beard. And like I was saying about proportion, you know, his eyes are here and the bottom of his ear, which is kind of tucked in, is kind of in line with his eye here so they kind of give you a placement and you know the it's kind of you know just a shape kind of like having you know some glasses on just to kind of get you you know as get you started in the shape of the eye and this is kind of a big you can do even a big kind of ob, you know kind of roundish and then go in with little spaces for nostrils but you can just kind of see how the shape flows in the image, okay? And just break it down simply. And I know that I'm a broken record and it's, I say that every time, but that's just the way it works. If you just look at it in compartments, that some you know that can break it down more simply so you're not looking at the whole image and going, oh my gosh, how am I gonna do that? This is about just taking your time, slowly getting in 
the different components of the gorilla's face. Okay, so, and then this, the part that, and then now, you know what, like I said, is I'm going in and just in the skin areas adding just with circular motions to kind of, and just use the, use your pencil, you know, you can hold it differently on the edge, you know, tilted on the edge so you're not getting a point. And then see, even just by leaving some pencil, the paper showing near my pencil lines, that I'm still leaving myself the visual reference for the black lines of the wrinkles. So, cause I don't want to cover up all of the information, you know, cause that's the whole point of sketching it first so you know what you're drawing. And, you know, so you'll, you'll go over this quite a few times, but this is just a way to kind of get you started so you can kind of see how the pencils are layered in to create a kind of surface. And in this case, it's the smoother surface of the skin around his eyes and nose. And, and then it transitions from the brow ridge, you know, where it is still skin into just a lot of fur on top of it. So it gets more textural. And even though a lot of this up here is going to be darker in shadow, I still kind of want to get a little bit of a layer of pencil in here just to kind of give me some reference point, you know, and, and also, you know, do the directional movement, you know, because you don't want to just do straight up and down lines or even just, you know, diagonal lines. We're, this is a three-dimensional object we're trying to emulate, so we are doing circular motions just really softly. But you can see that it's starting to come to, you know, it's starting to emerge, the image. And we're gonna add a lot more wrinkles, but this is just giving, like I said, the basic skin underlayer. And we'll do the same thing above, you know, because his nostrils have, obviously this is skin in here too. So this is the main part of the nostril, but, or nose, nostril area, anyway. But the, they have the, he's got the wrinkles above it, so. And now just remember, just take your time The faster you try to be, you know, the less satisfied you probably, you know, and then there are going to be marks that you're going to make and go, oh my gosh, I didn't mean to do that. That's fine. Charcoal is really forgiving. So just breathe and slow down. This is not a race. This is just a learning experience. We're challenging you to try to do different things and you can totally do this. Like I said, you know, drawing an exact likeness is, takes practice and is, you know, is not easy. But this, we're just getting, the, as long as it looks like a gorilla, hey, that's great. And that's what we're trying to do. So, and just, you know, working with smooth surfaces and fur at the same time, so. And then, you know, like I said, his brow ridge is a combination of smooth and first. So I want to kind of, I, like I said, I want to get a layer of the smooth underneath it so that when I start adding little short lines for the short fur, it will. And I think they, maybe they're considered to have hair. I just keep saying fur or whatever. Because we have, you know, hair all over our bodies too. So, you know, but it's furry. You know, hair can be furry, so... Anyway, you all know what I mean. But see, so this way I'm gonna have that nice smooth look underneath when I start adding the short hairs on top. But I find it's just easier to do all of this 
first because the hair is layering on top of the skin. So that's why I want to kind of get a layer of um, his face and skin going underneath here. And then we'll still do this in the kind of chin lip area. This definitely, this part definitely has more um, hair coming off of it first, but I kind of want to get a little bit of this down first because we can kind of see some of it, but okay. Bring some of this up still. Okay, but you all are getting this idea. And like I said, I'm just wanting to get just a basic layer first. And then I will will work on some of the hair, okay? Sorry, put that up in your face. But anyway, now we'll take the same white pencil. And then also, we're I'm going to do this. It's kind of a little misleading to have a white dot there for the pupil when it's actually black, but that just gives me placement. So I'm just still going to do a light layer in his eyes here too. Because then I'll go back in with black around there. Okay, so kind of his eye kind of went away. And if you, we can go in here with some black. And now remember, as I'm putting my hand in here, just pay attention. I know I've said this a lot, but see, just be from putting my hand across his face, I have been, um, or his, you know, chin area, I've been rubbing it out. So you can even you know, take whatever kind of paper. You don't necessarily have to take another piece of construction paper. Just put your, but put your hand on it so you're not dragging it off. So I'm, I have a tendency to do that. And I know I say that every time, but that's true, so. And so. And then, you know, we'll put the high, th th these are some of the later things we're gonna do, but you, you know, we'll put the highlight in. But we'll bring his eyes back out because he has light eyes. And a lot of this is gonna be a lot darker around there. But okay, so now let's start and the hair on his face, you know, coming up here is a lot shorter. So we're just gonna start. Now remember, they have a lot of hair. So just take your time. Don't press really hard. You don't wanna wear your hand out because you're gonna be doing a lot of this. And then just see how like in here it's, it's turn it's curving and and just keep doing your directional lines in the fur and these guys you know closer up to the skin area they're going to be shorter right but then the farther you get down in here it's going to be longer and there's going to be lots of blending and some of the stuff you're going to you know, so this is, as you know, this is not a fast process. So just breathe in and you go, and you can kind of go, well, leave those don't look very good and that's fine. We're gonna go, these should be more like this and that's okay. And if you think, oh, well that's, you know, it looks like you're cross hatching, you know, not intentional, that's fine. I know some of you are itching to use the eraser. Use an eraser, use an eraser, but don't, you know, that you don't really have to spend your time erasing at this point because you're gonna be adding lots of layers of hair slash fur, whatever you wanna call it. So you're just gonna be going over it, okay? So you don't, it's not necessary to really erase it because you're gonna be going over it multiple times with both the black and white pencil, okay? So, that is my meaning in that you don't really have to worry about using your eraser to erase mistakes because really there aren't any mistakes at this point. There's, you know, you're just getting in all the basics. And lots of layers of pencil. So, and I think I accidentally made him a little hairier over here when he isn't. So what you can do is just kind of go in here and, you know, you can blend with the 
Q-tip, even though this is more for the skin, but I'm, so I'm gonna smooth it out. And then when we use, and you can take this and, but, and you can kind of do the circular motions with this too to kind of spread out your white charcoal so it softens it. And you can be, we'll be doing more of this layer later, but this is just what I'm meaning by. And it still matters, even though it's an under layer and this is, you we're just blending it out. Don't, it matters how you move the Q-tip. Circular motions are gonna keep it looking smooth, okay? And so we're gonna build this up a lot. And, you, and just kind of get an idea, experiment with using your tools and just gonna see. Now, now in here, you can kind of sc scrub a little more. You don't wanna really hurt the paper. That's not the point. You just wanna kind of smooth some of it out where I intended to bring the skin out farther versus the hair so. And I'm just going in and putting in a little bit of a layer. And this looks brighter white because I just blended that. And so I'm gonna go in and have some layers more. You know, I'm gonna layer it up again. So don't worry, but you just kind of are seeing there are lots of different, you know, in this one, there's lots of different you know, mid-tones, there's bright whites and blacks and mid-tones. So, you, you know, this would just all be one layer. So we're gonna keep adding back on. It gets blended out and then you build it back up. So I know it's a little confusing because this guy is different than this one, but that's all right. You get the idea of the surface, what the surfaces look like. But see, then we're blending parts of it back in and out. And then this way we're having Lots of variation in grays. So let's work a little bit more on adding in some facial fur. So, okay. And like I said, don't, and I like to start out, I sometimes I do it a little heavy, but that's okay. Just do it, you know, with a light, lighter pressure. And we're just kind of following the structure of the gorilla's face. And what we'll do is we'll layer shorter ones on top too. You can have long ones underneath. And, and, and then, you know, the, it changes direction at the side of the face. And in this cheek area. And it's okay if you make ones that you're not really sure about. You're going to be going over this a bunch, so don't worry about it. And you're, and you're not really worrying about making each distinct line. You see how I'm using the pencil? I'm kind of making, it looks like it, but some of them are connected, which is fine. So this way it's not as hard on your hand and you, you, know, you, you wanna be able to do this for a while. This is just kind of giving me reference for the direction of how I want the hair to be because it's gonna change up here and then it's gonna go whoop, whoop. So, okay. And then it's kind of longer up here. This kind of, it's got some wild hair, but you can kind of see. And if it start, start of, starts looking kind of a little strange, don't worry about it. We're just, we're gonna change it back. And I'm kind of, let's see, I'm trying to see how this guy's is looking up here because it's kind of you know like on our own head it and you know you may have one side that starting to look better than the other kind of like on this one but that's all right we're just don't worry about it and we're just gonna keep going Whoops. here we are you know, and if you need to, just kind of smooth it out, but 
but you're getting the idea. And so this is also more skin up here, so. He kind of brought his fur down far. It has a low brow ridge, but, you know. Anyway, and some, and Nanny, and I'm, he has a few wrinkles up here that I'll kind of get a line in, but, and some are more pronounced than others, and that's okay, because there's a little bit of fur and skin under here. So this, this is kind of bright in here, so I can just kind of rub my finger across it and meaning the hair was a little bright. So I wanted to soften it up. And it may look a little strange, no big deal. We're just gonna, okay. This looks like an interesting hairdo, but. <laughs> so, I'm gonna kinda, cause I made it really long, that's fine. I just wanted to give myself some directional line references. So, I'm just gonna kinda shorten up. This is giving you and that's his little ear, so okay, well. But and you can so you are getting the gist of layering in the hair and and if you, like I said, if you want to, you can do a layer of a little bit of pencil under here because he has short hairs on top of this. And so sometimes it's easier, like I said, to have a layer of, you know, that skin tone underneath and then having some of the hair come off of it because they kind of have like a beard. Let's see, yeah. And even, you know, and I'm holding the pencil differently and we're not really gonna fill in a whole lot over here, but when I was saying is I'm holding the pencil differently, but you know, and I'm, I'm holding it loosely. I'm holding it, you know, firm enough so that I have control over it, but I don't wanna squeeze it so much that I'm wearing my hand out, okay? So just be kind to your body, <laughs> okay? So, He's starting to come together, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit, um, and, and then we're just gonna keep going in, and now I'm making sure my hand's not touching the paper. So you can start adding in a little brighter areas, and then we'll go in with the, you know, with the black. And I'm going to use a circular motion with the black pencil too. Because really eventually, you know, we're going to cover up some of those white lines because this was just your reference. Okay. And because you know, the, his eyes are a lighter brown, even though it's gonna translate as a white, but you kind of want them to show up. This guy's eyes are a little, they're a little more, a little darker, a little more subdued, so. Well, I think this guy's sitting in the sun, so anyway. So I'm, and he has a lot, there's a lot of shadow going across here. Okay, so I'm adding in. Hmm, see, so even just by doing that, you're, you can see that we're starting to build up some of that contrast and color, it's pulling it together.
And then, you know, you'll there will be more contrast here when I come back and it'll show up more you know, contrast when I'm going in and adding some of those short pieces of hair. So your black will seem even blacker because you're adding more white around it. A lot of this stuff is just placement to kind of get you started. Okay? And so you just keep going. All right? And all right, so just take your time and um, this is lots of layers of pencil. Totally doable. He looks like he has an interesting kind of almost an Elvis here at the moment, but I will kind of fill this in some more and um, we'll talk a little bit more about it in here in just a minute. Okay. Okay, you can see that I've <laughs> added quite a bit more and you know, this is, as you know, this is a really slow process. So I uh, just, lots and lots of layers of, you know, fur, hair. <laughs> and there are some things I still need to work out here, but it's just slow. But you can see that I've been going back in and adding brighter whites and then going in and adding some black. And you're just kind of changing it and manipulating it to kind of get it closer and closer to what your desired endpoint is. And like I said, this is, you know, just an exercise in using, you know, smooth surfaces like skin and in conjunction with, you know, fur, hair, you know, and using your Q-tip to blend is great. You can also use your finger and just, just keep slowly building it up and also make sure you get perspective. Step back from it, hold it up so that you can actually step away from it and kind of see it. And, you know, and it, it's gonna take a while. So just take your time, you know, work on it. You guys are gonna be working on this a lot longer anyway. I'm trying to show this to you in a short period of time, but just have fun, number one. And then just, you know, experiment with using the different tools. Some of you may not like the Q-tip, some may love it. You know, your finger is great, but just remember. And then, you know, when layering lots of pencil on top, you know, I kept going back in and adding black on top and then adding white back in. And then, and then step away from it and you think, oh, well, maybe I kind of, maybe that doesn't look as good as it did or it's looking better. It's just slow process. And I know that's a broken record and you're like, oh my gosh, it's all slow. But art is, takes time and art is a process. So just have fun with it. Take your time, you know, take care of your hands. And, you know, your eraser is your friend, so you can go in and use your eraser and take bits out to look more like fur. You know, if you get a little bit too much and it looks a little too flat. And then you can clean up your smudges, but then also just make sure you don't drag your hand across. So, in the end, you should have some, you know, I still need to go back in and add some more black, but it's really pretty subtle. So, you know, and if you come out with a more stylized gorilla, that's totally fine. More realistic, that's great. Just, you know, however it turns out is great. It's not necessarily about the end product, it's about the process and, you know, feeling more comfortable using white charcoal and black charcoal to create, you know, skin and fur. All right, everybody. Take care of yourselves, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.